This one wants us to know where delta S is less than zero. So decrease in entropy. Well, I don't know, this one looks a little weird, but this says solid here. Solid. So it can't be the first one, that would be an increase in entropy. Uh, the second one, oh, I didn't write, this is a solid by the way. The second one, I have a gas here and a gas here, but that one's two. Uh, so this could be, this would likely be the decrease in entropy one. Check. Uh, so the next one, I have two. Here, this would more likely be an increase because these are both gases. Yeah, I mean, just like gas is uh, it can be E because we already know B is an answer. D uh, is this one right here. Uh, this could be an increase. In, this one's a tough one. When you have solids and liquid, liquids or aqueous pretty much be the same. Uh, but usually you'd probably think, okay, this is going to be an increase in entropy because the S. In the other example you're talking about before, that one's a little tougher because you've got, uh, you've got a lot of coefficients that are not one. Yeah. And so, and you've got an extremely complicated solid on the one we were talking about before. This is pretty straightforward, but even if you were unsure, it still has to be B. <laughs> yeah, by process of elimination. So I'd, I'd really, I'd be careful when there's not a gas involved. It's sometimes hard to tell. Wait, which is the answer? Check, the check mark one, oh. this one. Because there's two gases here and one here. Okay. So going to less gases would be a loss in entropy.